Hey Cubs, it's Lynxie and welcome to Beacon Pines. Now I am actually going to be recording the next couple of videos all hopefully in one big thing. There's going to be minor edits probably. Um, this game specifically does have some minor cursing so I just want to let you all know before we really begin. I don't know what this game is about but I download a whole lot of games for Steam Fest, but I didn't get to play them because of the Wolf Quest stuff going on. So I was like, okay, when that's all kind of over, maybe I'll have a little bit more time. So here's my time. Let's see. So this is Beacon Dear Pines. Leader, Ooh. Yes. Allow me oh. to introduce you to my book. Okay. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Mm -hmm. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Ooh. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Chapter one. Ooh. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Okay. Oh, this is so precious. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Okay. Hey, Dad. Oh, no. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. He's so a little baby. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than when you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Oh, this is so cute. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Clearly. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's got- Oh, really? Oh, no! So, yeah, Rolo! She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Oh, this is so pretty! Oh, <gasps> they f oh. <laughs> tickle. What? Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Hmm. Oh, okay. Look at this, though. He just frolics in all of them. It's so cute! <laughs> Do you get something if you- oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. 
Fei who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location and Layla literally just let out the biggest fart. That was disgusting, Layla. Why would you do that? Mission control. Alright, I just have to tell Gran that and then we can head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. New she moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. <laughs> Rolo's really cute though. But like, dude. Look at him. Look at him jump. Oh, precious baby. You're so cute. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Mm. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. Mm. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. <gasps> really? Okay. Just some dusty knickknacks. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. <laughs> How cute. Ooh. <laughs> Ponder. What a cute thing. Oh, he just slides off. Oh my gosh. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. <laughs> so cute. One of his father's old stethoscopes, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Luca, you should go do that again, then. It might help you feel better, at least a little, kiddo. I love just investigating stuff. <laughs> and I really like how this game is actually um, set out, to be honest. I like the fact that it's just the background is, you know, very Luca pretty. paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh, Luca. Gwen had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. <laughs> These are so cute. There we go. Oh. Brian's bed was undisturbed. Oh. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, he's so precious. You're a good little baby, Luca, aren't you? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. <laughs> this is so cute. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. That's honestly very fair. I kind of would be too. Like, I know it's a necessity, but, you know, still, it can get a little bothersome. Alrighty, well, let's go say hello to Grand. Is she not here? Grandma! The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Mm. Okay, let's turn that off, Luca. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Junk. <laughs> Something has gone wrong in there. I'm hoping it's not grand that's gone wrong or something. Where is she? Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. 
You can use the various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing. So step forth, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. Mm. Um, okay. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hmm. Hi, Grandma. Hey, Gran. I'm ready to go hang, or I'm gonna go hang with Rolla for the day. See you later. Uh, hold up now. Uh, Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. <laughs> We were just gonna go. Oh, I see. Ponder, hide, chill. Probably just chill for we were the day. We're just gonna go chill for the day. Of course. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. True. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well. Make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Hmm. The Chronicle? Oh. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. Mm. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. This conversation with Gran seems innocent enough, the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Let's go ponder then. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. Is going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly. This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. <laughs> um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium. Nailed it. <laughs> well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the pon preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. <laughs> Cute. Oh, okay, I see. I love the noise that it makes. I did wish it was a little bit like quieter. Or not quieter, faster. <laughs> just a little faster. We we're just gonna go hide for the day. <laughs> hide. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess Rollo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All swell, but ends well. How interesting. <laughs> well, I prefer to chill. Gonna go chill for the day. The best uh, 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 Easy. All right. How interesting. This game plays so well. It's just so adorable, honestly. <laughs> I like how he doesn't run in his house. Oh, Rolo. Come on, come on! Woo! Dang it, Rolo. <laughs> Chapter 2. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Oh. In the three years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Oh. 
a town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. <laughs> but it's cute. What happens if I... The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Ah. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come on now. When I was your age, there was nothing more excited than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. You're gosh dang right it is. <sighs> I've been so busy these days. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. Are you evil? I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. First rate. Sorry, Luca. I've got to get back to the proverbial grinding stone. Our harvest awaits and all that. I look forward to seeing you at the festival, pal. I'll do my best. Oh, now. The left side's a little low. If I could speak. Oh, oh, they're all so precious. Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valen... <sighs> Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. <laughs> Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. Alright, what can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh, just saying hi, I guess. <laughs> well, good, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. Off you go then. <laughs> How cute. Is there anything else that can go and investigate? Oh, there's a barrier there. Ooh. <laughs> you could just sit in there to look cool. <laughs> oh, I can go without Rolo. Where are you going, Rolo? You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Oh, I wanted to speak more to- oh. <laughs> After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. <laughs> okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So, you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? That old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since before the foul harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You actually want to go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere, and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down how do you accidentally burn down a chicken coop and he jumped in and said it was your fault before my paw throttled me this is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal i've got your back thanks rollo now that i think about it poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how i want to spend the first day of summer let's go <laughs>
can't say I'm not a little bit like hmm I don't know what this game has in store. They said that it could deal with some hard topics, so like cursing, hard topics and all that. I'm kind of interested. Oh hello. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. <laughs> you who, Mr. Sinclair? Uh, don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's it napping today? Crummy as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Icky, I can't. Do it or we pound you. Yup. Yeah, but my mom said. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every. Yeah, but. I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. <laughs> Tom Tom to go steal. Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at Perennial Harvest. They pulled a pen from the pocket of their sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful. It won't happen again. Alex. Huh? If you're going to be on a first name basis, then you call me Alex. Oh, nice to meet you, Alex. Alex muttered, scribbling more notes. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains or phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here, in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I'd better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. As Mr. Kerr likes to say, from humble seed grows no fruit. And if we're gonna change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. <laughs> we take that as a compliment. Changing the world is intense. So what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. They could just make out their words over the pen scratching. Open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See? It's not that hard, is it? Oh, okay. We're going already. Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought about it before. Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. See? That wasn't so painful. Alex stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Our harvest waits. Oh, that's someone who's drinking the corporate Kool-Aid. <laughs> I just got to go breath a bit. <laughs> go on. I'll catch up. <laughs> oh, this place is so cute. I think we're going to end it here. Thank you all so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And it really does help me out so, so much. It gives me a lot of motivation to keep making videos. I'm trying to get back into it, but life is difficult. Anyway, if you want to go ahead and check out Beacon Pines, there is a link in the description below. Do give it a wish list, of course, because I definitely will. I think it's so cute so far. I can't wait to see what this demo brings. Remember to stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye, cubs!